conference win this season. The opportunity comes against USC at the top of the hour here on the Pac-12 Networks. Inside our San Francisco studios, Mike Yam, Rick Newhouse, Curtis Conway, Nick Aliotti with you. Rick actually knows the legacy of Coach McCartney, what he means in the city of Boulder. There is another McCartney that is carrying on that legacy. Here's the story of his grandson. Higgins goes down, sack, and the pressure from Derek McCartney, the red shirt freshman. When Colorado lineman Derek McCartney first took to Folsom Field, it all seemed familiar. He's sacked on first down by Derek McCartney, the grandson of legendary Colorado head coach Bill McCartney. It was the same field that grandfather Bill McCartney won more games than any other head coach in Colorado history. But for Derek, he was just grandpa. When, when coaches talk about history of Colorado football and I think back, it's like, that's when my grandpa was here. And it is really cool to know that I'm, like, I'm connected to all that. You know, he's a young man that has grown up with that name. It's a name that you have to, to carry. And, and when you go places, people go, oh, that's Coach McCartney's grandson. I, ever since he was breathing, you know, grandpa was paying attention. Grandpa was involved. Coach McCartney was involved more than most grandfathers. Derek grew up without a father in a house near Folsom Field with Bill's daughter, Derek's mother, Christy, and brother TC. He really didn't know his father. So uh, I've had to kind of wear more than one hat. Even though he didn't have a dad, like it was just like, I never really felt like anything was missing in my life just because my mom was so loving and the grandparents were so loving. His house uh, in Westminster is next door to mine. Okay, so we have access. I would go over after school and just talk to Grandpa about random things in life and football and sports, and he just encouraged me. That was, that was huge for me growing up. Uh, he's a kid who you could project was gonna distinguish himself. I guess I probably didn't think a lot about college at the time, but I was definitely a fan of football and, and of uh, buffs, for sure. Coming to games all, all the time, all the home games I could go to. It was always more than just football for Derek. He completed 76 credits before playing a single down for Colorado. While he's still playing for the buffs, he plans to earn a master's degree, and after his playing days are over, medical school. When he was in high school, he only made one B. All the rest were A's. He wants to be a medical doctor. A kid that has that kind of academic prowess, you realize that football is temporary. And yet at the same time, he could be an NFL prospect. I mean, that's grandpa talking. Grayson is taken down, Boom. ball came out. Derek McCartney, the left end. He's a young man that's uh, you know started every game for us as a freshman, but he's got four sacks now after six games, which is phenomenal. Here comes the pressure. Sack back inside the 20. He's leading the team in sacks. I could see him breaking the records here. Mannion is going to go down. That's Derek McCartney. The young men look up to him. Um, they uh, see his work ethic on and off the field. They see his attitude on the field. They see the way he plays on game day. And they see the way he prepares. So he has taken a leadership role. And um, they, I think he's a young a man that they really respect. They can see how like, Coach McIntyre is a great leader. And, and we have great leaders on our team. And our team is rising. And, I just want to be part of that, and I just want to be, uh, just help the team in that way. It's not him as a football player. That's not the basis of him as a player. That's what he does. That's what he's been blessed to be able to do. But his faith and his attitude and his caring for other people is really what he's learned from, from Coach Mack. And I think definitely uh, um, Derek McCartney's a chip off the old block. The four most powerful words in the English language are, I believe in you. I believe in Derek. Derek is a dynamo. Derek is a special kid. He has unusual potential. And, you know, the cry of my heart is that he'll stay healthy and fulfill that potential and live out uh, all these things that he projects to accomplish. A very cool story. I got to tell you, when I see Mac, Mac talking like that, I have to sit up straight. <laughs> I, I go back to being on that staff. Bill McCartney, we had a saying about him. He's not always right, but he is never uncertain. <laughs> and, and if you just saw that piece, this is a guy that had unbelievable vision. 
for the University of Colorado. Remember, he took it over after Chuck Fairbanks had the program, and it was down, down, down. He found a way to take it all the way to a national championship in 1991, and you can feel that conviction in talking about his grandson, and he also has great passion. If Derek McCartney has just 50% of the passion that Bill McCartney had, Derek McCartney is going to be a great, great player and a great, great man. It was cool for us when we were doing the training camp tour. The coach was there, and like there was, just, it's just a different. He buzz. kicked us all out. Yeah. media. Yeah. If you're not one of the coaches or the players, get out. I could coach. He goes out. I'm a media guy now. So, uh, it just a very cool story. You can see how that legacy continues to carry on and what he's meant to this program. And a fabulous start to a career, yeah. and fabulous athleticism, and and uh, a great story. Mike McIntyre might be leaning on him a little bit in today's matchup against USC. The head coach of the Buffs. Well, his team, 21-game road, losing streak against ranked teams. They'd love to snap that, that opportunity coming against USC at the top of the hour on the Pac-12 Networks.